If you want to know how to identify canvas faults quickly, then this video is for you. If you have an understanding of all the modules on your canvas network, it can be really easy to check whether the canvas is operational or not. So here we're in a BMW 3 Series and if we press the hazard lights over here, we can see the hazard lights are operational from the inside and they're also working from the outside. So what I've done here is remove the glove box and access the what's called the footwell module or body control module and what I'm going to do is short out the CAN network and see what happens. So we can see here the hazard lights are on, the switch is flashing and if we short out the network there we go, the instrument cluster stops flashing. However the switch is still operating, still flashing and if we check on the outside we can still see that the hazard lights are flashing. So let's have a look at why that happened. So on the 3 series the body control module and the instrument cluster are on the body can or K-CAN as BMW would like to call it. The hazard light switch is connected to the body control module that we saw under the glove box and also the lights around the car. The instrument cluster that displays the warning for the hazard light switch and the tick tock noise that we hear when they're op operating is taken care of by the instrument cluster. So when we press the hazard light switch on the car the BCM receives the signal and operates the hazard lights on the vehicle. This, the hazard light signal is then sent on the CAN network. That's picked up by the instrument cluster and the instrument cluster then displays the indicator or turn signal warnings and also activates the tick tock sound that we hear. Now if we take that CAN network out those signal, signals cannot get to the instrument cluster for it to know to display the warnings and make the sound. However because the switch and the outputs for the lights aren't affected by the CAN network they still operate. Let's go and have a look at what else doesn't work when we take the body CAN network out. So we're inside the car now and I've installed the file on the body CAN network so let's have a look uh, how the vehicle reacts. So first of all let's uh, try unlocking and locking the vehicle. Nothing. Uh, the interior light's still working. The car doesn't lock and unlock from the button. Okay let's see if we can uh, start it up. So okay I heard all the uh, Ignition come on, but we've got no lights on the dash. Let's see if the engine starts. No, nothing. Windows, no. Got no. Heating, radio. Nothing. However, hazard lights still working. Okay, so now we've had a look at the effects of what a CAN fault can have on the operation of all the systems on the vehicle. In this case, it didn't do anything. But in other cases, depending on the vehicle network, you might find that some things work and some things don't. It just all depends on how the network is configured. Check out my next videos. We're gonna look at how we actually uh, diagnose that fault now. So we've done a function test and we suspect there's a fault with the CAN. Let's have a look how we actually find out what the issue is. If you want to see more videos with professional tips on how to diagnose vehicle faults, make sure you subscribe. Also hit the bell icon to turn on notifications, this way you'll be kept up to date when I release new videos. If you found this video interesting and thought it would help you in your CAN diagnostics, make sure you give me a like below.